This documentary has been making waves in the fitness industry. It is all over the place and I've got numerous requests to do a video about what I think of the film for one, my opinion, and also I'm assuming you guys want me to get a little bit ranty with this. So let's see how that goes. Basically, if you don't know what, what the health is, it is a documentary film. You can find it on Netflix. It is 97 minutes in length. And basically, the synopsis is, is this guy, the guy that's directing the film, is going to show you why the traditional forms of nutrition are actually bad for your health. Go figure a health documentary talking about that. And also, he's gonna talk a lot about why there's a lot of food politics that play into what is actually toted to you as a healthy diet. So if you watch the entire film, I'm gonna give you a spoiler alert. About halfway through, near the end, he's going to try to convince you to become a vegan because plant-based is the only way to live and every other form of nutrition is going to kill you. That's the synopsis of the film. You guys can watch that on Netflix. It'll probably be up for a bit, and I'm sure you've already probably seen it if you're watching this now. So I thought what we could do is go over the pros and cons, in my opinion, of course, about this film, and then I'll give you guys just my overall perspective and overview on it. Pro number one, this film will definitely make you think. I like things that make you think because I think there's a lot of you out there that are just blind followers to a lot of the propaganda bullshit guru fucking industry crap that is out there in this industry and many others. A lot of you will see just an article, you read a magazine or whatever and then you found the new magical way and that's your new bible and you're going to follow it till the end of time. This will definitely make you think a bit, especially if you have ever followed any of the traditional bodybuilding diets or anything like that. This film is gonna put some different ideas in your head. It doesn't matter if they're good or bad. It's gonna give you another perspective and something different to look at. So I like it for that reason because it gets the wheels in your head turning. Because basically, everybody should be making their own opinions about things. You shouldn't follow anything in this industry or any other for that matter totally blind. You should not just assume that everybody knows everything and you should follow them because that's the way it is. They know more than you. It's not really true, you guys. This will give you another perspective which gives you more ideas which will hopefully help you draw your own conclusions to some of the questions you have about your nutrition in general. Pro number two, this film's going to try to deter you away from processed meats. Now, this film in general will want you to stop eating all meats and tell you that basically it's going to give you every disease known to man. Not necessarily at that point myself, but I do agree that processed meats are fucking bullshit for your health all the time, you guys. It's going to mainly talk about how hot dogs, deli meats, and salami, and all that kind of stuff is just not good for you. And it's really not. When you actually look at it, that type of stuff, heavily processed meats, is always bad and if that's a surprise to you then this film will do something good for you because it's going to deter you away from that at the very least. Pro number three, it might inspire a change in your overall nutrition, your health and your well-being. It might make you pay attention to things better. It might make you review what you're eating. It might make you change your diet and you know what? It might be better. Now I'm not saying that it is the right way to go or it's not. I'm saying that everybody is specific, everybody's individual and everything that works is individual to that person. So if you experiment a bit, you might learn something new. If you've never ever focused on a plant-based anything, you're one of those people out there eating a ton of meat and cheese and all this crap and you hardly get any vegetables and now this film convinces you to try something new, maybe get some more vegetables in your diet or try just a, a plant-based thing for a week or two or something and something changes in you, it might happen you guys. You don't know if you've never tried and I'm not saying it's one way or the other, but it definitely might inspire change and that change could be better and better beneficial to your health overall. There's some of the pros, now we're going to go to the cons because there's definitely always pros and cons and remember these are just my opinions. You guys need to take this information, put it in the food for thought machine and draw your own conclusions. Con number one, there was definitely some outlandish claims that were made in this film in my opinion. One of them being that basically you can eat carbohydrates in unlimited amounts and never gain weight or fat because your body will just store it as muscle glycogen. It's gonna take all the carbs and just put it into your muscle, so it's actually never gonna produce any weight gain or fat gain. That, uh, to my knowledge, you guys, has never been anything that has been backed in any research or any study or anything like that. Now, that doesn't mean it's not true or false, 
but it is pretty much not any direction the industry has ever gone with any type of diet that has ever produced fat loss. Now, usually when you guys wanna produce fat loss, you need to be in a caloric deficit, you need to be eating minimal amounts of foods, you need to be in restriction, essentially, to burn fat to kind of get the fat loss and the metabolism and all that going. So for the idea that you can eat any food or any macronutrient in an unlimited amount is a bit crazy to me in my opinion. And I think it's pretty outlandish. And I don't think there's a lot of anything to back that up. Con number two that I don't like about this film is the fact that it is so biased towards every other type of diet, you know? The entire tone of the film starts off very negative, focusing on here's all the meat products, here's everything it does, here's all the diseases, here's all the deaths, here's all the problems, and then it moves into the vegan kind of style, the plant-based, this is the answer, and the music changes, there's like happy tones, everybody looks happy, like it's, it's different and it's purposefully trying to sell you on the fact that this is the only way to live, it's the only lifestyle, and it works for every person, and I don't like things that cut out the individual variable. I think that it's very biased, there's no uh, other side of the story, there's nobody else, everybody they interview is strictly vegan, strictly plant-based, all that stuff. There's none of the other story, and also, it just kind of cuts you out of the mix, it cuts your individuality out. It says basically this is the only way and this works for everybody and I don't like things that say that because in my experience in everything that I've ever done or seen that is not true. When you customize things and you build things specific to you and you do specific things for yourself, that's what produces results and that's how you figure out exactly what works for you and your body and I do not believe in putting a blanket on everyone and saying this is the only way and it's the right way. Con number three. This piggybacks a bit on con number two, that this film was very biased. The case studies they're gonna show you are gonna definitely try to push you in one direction. For example, they take this one woman, she's a meat eater, she's following traditional forms of diet, whatever, and she's in severe pain. She has arthritis, she's got bone on bone knees, she's using a walker in the film even, and when they interview her, she's absolutely miserable, she's depressed, etc. she's just in pain, chronic, constant, all the time. They basically say, here's the solution, do a plant-based diet, and we're gonna come back and check in on you. So she does her plant-based diet for two, three weeks or whatever, they come back, and she's magically not in the walker, she's in much less pain, and she's feeling really, really good and happy, and they're telling you it's because she was on the plant-based diet. Now, also, in the first bit of the film, they left this out later, but this same woman was taking a multitude of pills to regulate her symptoms. So she's taking all kinds of painkillers, all kinds of other stuff for different, you know, diseases and problems she has. And when she went on the plant-based diet, she cut those out. She stopped taking it. She reduced the amounts. And you guys, if you don't know the effects of prescription drugs on your body, that stuff can mess up so much stuff. So the causation and correlation here comes into play a bit for me when I watch this film. Like, is it all the plant-based diet that really fixes this woman so dramatically? Is it a combination of plant-based diet with the reduction of medication she's taking? Or is it just the medication? There was no causation and correlation kind of back to back there. They didn't even focus on that. They basically just feed you the the answer is plant-based and that's it and that's the only way to go. My overall opinion of this film is that if you don't know anything about eating healthy period, you're one of those people out there eating hot dogs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with the occasional burger, pizza, whatever, then you should probably watch the film. It's 97 minutes, it's gonna take up a chunk of your day, but it's probably worth it to you to learn a little bit about some healthier food choices. If you are someone who is already aware of healthy food choices to the most degree, right? You're eating fairly lean sources of protein, you're doing organic stuff, you're doing grass fed, free range, that type of stuff with your eating, or you know, you're following things that are high vegetable, high kind of plant based foods to some degree, right? Because most people are gonna eat a good amount of veggies. Uh, then you do not probably need to watch this film because it's not really gonna teach you anything new. For me, um, I grew up in a vegetarian family and I spent a lot of time in school with a lot of vegan kids and things like that. 
in the area I grew up, it was a very common thing. So I'm pretty familiar with that type of dieting and all that. And this was not new to me. None of this information was very new to me. The outlandish claims that were in the film kind of threw me off a bit with some of this stuff. And I didn't like that it was heavily biased towards just being vegan and all that because that's the only way to live. I don't believe that's true. I think that everybody's different and all kinds of different things work for different people. I think you should have multitudes of perspectives. I think you should see all types of different things. And I think you should kind of think food for thought for yourself as to what you actually need to do with your health, what actually needs to be done with your nutrition. I think you need to experiment and you need to try things and then you need to draw conclusions to what's gonna work for a little bit, but maybe not for a lifetime. So there's my view of the film, you guys. Gave you some pros and cons, gave you some ideas, hopefully some stuff to think about there. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you all so much. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, because if you don't, I'm just gonna be kind of upset and sitting here without subscribers, which is not good. Tell me what you thought in the comments below. Good, bad, have you tried plant-based? Have you not, are you going to? What did you think of the film? Did you watch it? Let's get a little conversation going and draw some conclusions for what we think about this film. Don't follow anything blind. Don't follow me blind. Don't follow this film blind. Don't follow anything you read or see or do blindly. Always second guess things and always have opinions because then you're going to draw the right conclusions. Thank you guys for checking this out. I appreciate every single one of you.